guys! I wanted to film an outfit of the day for you. Very simple outfit, but I wanted to highlight some of the new Stella and Dot jewelry that I just can't seem to take off. I have the Waverly styled with my outfit and some new wedges that are so affordable and super cute. So let's get started. Oh, and I colored my hair today. That's I just actually got in from a hair color appointment, so I'll talk about that in a minute, but I'll just first start out by telling you about my makeup. It's very basic. I am back in love. I mean, I never really fell out of love, but I'm back into using the MAC Face and Body in the C5 shade because I got a little bit of a tan on my vacation. It's just the perfect shade, and I love the lightweight feel of it. It looks sheer. I like when I can still see like freckles and like beauty marks on my face. It still evens out your skin, but it still looks like skin. It's a great foundation for that. I didn't put any blush on today. I've just been, I've been using this bronzer every day and I kind of just stuck to the bronzer and I just wanted like kind of a glowy, bronzy face today. So this is the Ombre Bronzer, the CC Radiance Ombre Bronzer from It Cosmetics. Love this. This has been the only bronzer I've been wearing the whole month. I took it, it's the only bronzer I took with me on vacation. My eyes, I kept it very simple. I'm still infatuated with this Naturally Pretty palette from It Cosmetics. And all that I did today was I took the color Mocha, which is a kind of like a olivey brown. It's brown, it's very cool tone. It almost, there's no green in it, but it kind of looks like a deep olive color. And I just sheared it out with like a MAC 217. And then my eyeliner, I used the Emerald Volt Double Wear Pencil from Estee Lauder. And you're gonna see these pop up in my July favorites because I've been so happy with these. I've been using them as not only eyeliners, like pops of color, like especially on the bottom line, but I've also been using them as eyeshadow bases and I've just been so impressed with them. Then I tried some new lashes that were sent to me. These are called Radiant Lashes. They're mink eyelashes that are lightweight, long lasting. And I don't even know what these ones, oh, hold on. These are the Mariana. They're very natural looking. I've had a couple people today ask me if my, if my eyelashes were real. They come in this kind of Sephora looking box and you can get these on Amazon. I didn't know anything about these. They just kind of showed up in my P.O. box. So I tried them and I'm, I'm happy with them. I had to bend them a little bit, but they fit really well. I did have to trim them down too, but I like them and they do look very natural. This is a lip gloss by Shu Umera. A really sweet viewer sent me a fun little care package and she included this. And I don't know if this is correct or not, but it says OR10C. It's kind of like a coral color, but it goes on like a peachy nude. Josie Marin makes an extremely similar color to this if she still sells them on Sephora's website, and I can find it. I'll link it, but otherwise, I do really like this gloss. It's not sticky, and I love the applicator on it. It's one of those flat ones, kind of like YSL's um, lip stains, glossy lip stains. So... So that's it for my makeup. My hair I'll talk to you about quickly. I, a good friend of my mom's, her daughter is going to school or I think she's finished with school. She's needing in need of color models for to get her license. I don't know how any of that works. But I've kind of been like contemplating the idea of going back to dark because I've just kind of been over the whole biolage, biolage, ombre color in my hair. It's been really light and it's kind of been looking a little brassy to me so I always tend to go dark for the fall and winter I just did it a couple months early but I'm super thrilled with it her name is Leslie and I will put the salon in the description box with the phone number if you're from or around the Lehigh Valley she did a wonderful job I actually brought her in my Luxie hair extensions this is a whole other video but basically I I'm so happy that I cut my hair. I'm not regretting it at all, but there's definitely days and moments that I'm like, I miss my long hair. So I broke out my Luxie hair extensions again, and it kind of, this is also what kind of fueled the fire for me to like go back to dark, because these are so, so pretty. Clearly they're extremely too long for me, so I am gonna have one of my friends trim them for me, but I brought these in and I showed these to the, I showed the hair to Leslie and I told her I wanted a color similar to this like that's warm these are a little bit lighter than my hair color which she did on purpose because she said it would blend really nicely so I'm very excited to like just have these as an option on those days that I get sad and miss my long hair it was $35 which is like 
insane. I will put Leslie's Instagram below. You'll be able to see other hairstyles that she's done. Highly recommend her, especially if you're trying to save money. She's very good at what she does and I'm super thrilled with my hair. I don't let just anyone touch my hair. Like I'm very anal and a control freak about stuff like that. So I wouldn't recommend her to you guys if I didn't completely trust her. So jewelry, my Deja Vu Pearl Spike Studs from Stella and Dot. Super in love with these guys. Then rings, this is the Maylee ring from Stella and Dot, the adjustable stacked five in one ring. And then this one is by Sonia Renee. This is the gem bar ring, I believe. And it's kind of in this really pretty dark gray color. It matched with my Stella and Dot jewelry that I'm gonna show you so perfectly. It kind of almost looks like Labradorite a little bit, but it's fun, fun little ring. Then on this hand, I just have my Signet ring. This is quite the arm party, I gotta say. I haven't really worn this many bracelets in so long. You guys know if you've been watching my videos, I used to be like rocking these stacks like every day and then there was a moment where I was not really into them anymore, but I'm clearly back into them again. So this is a beaded stretch bracelet from Sonia Renee. It has a fun fuchsia pink tassel with the gray beads and the gray gemstone. And then all the rest of these bracelets are from Stella and Dot's new collection. The artisan bangles, the, the cuffs, the pearl spike cuff, which oh, so pretty. The artisan stretch bracelets and my recognition bracelet. So those are my bracelets. I'm wearing the matching artisan pendant that matches the bracelets. Love it so much with the jeruzy. It's like a mint jeruzy stone. My dress is very old. It's from Target. Not very old. I got it last year at Target. I'm sure if you go into Target now you could probably find something extremely similar if not on target maybe like asos it's kind of a bit of a high low dress i'll try to find a couple similar dresses and link them for you if i can but it's just a basic maxi very comfortable very thin and lightweight it's not constricting it's just a cotton dress and then my shoes love these shoes so i had to have these shoes after a friend of mine had them on when we had dinner one night and i got them from macy's just a basic espadrille wedge but the strap around the ankle, I don't know why, there is something about it that is so sexy to me. The material on them is kind of like a canvas. It's a very nice material. And they're by Madden Girl. Crazy, crazy, the price, $44.99. Hello, bargain. And then, you guys always, in my outfit of the days, I always forget to tell you about the bag that I'm carrying. So I made it a point to take this upstairs with me. This is the Waverly from Stella and Dot. I talked about this in my last video. It's a black perforated pattern leather, it's vegan leather, a tan suede with a zip pocket here, which I just keep my cell phone in usually, and then a huge bucket, zip pocket with a fun pattern. And you can clip it here and have it like this on you. You can also clip it on these jump rings here and have it as more of a bag you know, either side, however you'd want to carry it, facing in or facing out. And then the strap, which is also adjustable, which is great because you can adjust the length. The strap also detaches so you can use it as like a clutch. So nice, cute little tassel. So this is my bag when I don't have Addison and I don't have all of her stuff to carry. It's just my little like easy bag. I love this, I love crossbody bags, you guys know that, especially for like grocery shopping and just running quick errands. And I just love that this is such a convertible, versatile little piece. It also comes in a gorgeous, kind of like silvery, metallic gray, which is super icy and fun for the holidays. But I decided to go with the black because it's it's just classic and I know that this will match absolutely everything I wear. That's my outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. It's a beautiful arabesque pendant and it's just like the perfect little piece to end a long, gorgeous beaded chain. It's very lightweight. It looks good with everything. 